Hey guys, Brian here from LCS. Thanks for stopping by the channel and this video, comic book speculation and collecting resources. So what I want to talk about today is all of the things that we use as collectors and buyers and sellers to figure out the value on our collection, how to organize our collection, um, you know, basically all the different tools that we use um, on a, you know, on a daily, weekly basis. Um, I'm going to break down some of the tools that I use. Um, and I'd love to hear anything that I don't mention that you're using, you know, so drop it in the comments, which tools do you like, what resources are you using that maybe I'm not, not that I'm not aware of. So, um, stick around to find out my list. Welcome back. So let's um, jump right into the tools that I use um, when I'm doing, uh, you know, specking uh, new comics or um, how I manage my own collection. Um, so let's jump right in. The first resource that I use um, is eBay. Um, I've talked about it many times. You know, I, I sell comic books, raw comic books on eBay. Um, and eBay, you know, let's face it, eBay is a worldwide, you know, tool um, selling platform. Um, that has, you know, hundreds of collectibles listed. Um, and it's a good way to kind of um, uh, get a sense for what the market is paying for books. It's not the only resource, but it is a very good resource. So let's take a look at, say, Spider-Man number 300. Um, and we'll just do the regular 300, uh, not graded. So you can see, you know, very easily do a quick search. I come up with a a number of you know books here's a reprint here's a graded copy an 8.0 um so here are all the current you know uh, auctions and buy it now that are happening so you can get a sense for you know what the prices are but one of the best tools that i like to use on ebay is um scrolling down and picking the completed items and sold items so if i hit completed and then sold it gives me a list of all of the auctions that have already have already sold so i can get an even better sense for what the market is paying for so just this um you know this past weekend um here is a 9.0 copy of amazing spider-man uh 300 and it sold for over a thousand dollars right so i you know i can go through and see all right here's a 3.5 copy that sold for 375 um this is this is crazy this is looks like a raw copy that sold for over two thousand dollars here's another raw copy um actually this is saying this is cgc uh, cgc signed by uh, lee and mcfarlane um five hundred dollars so you can see it's just very quickly i can uh, i can look at ebay and look up any comic i want and typically you're going to find some history whether it's current sales or um you know completed sales so that's one of the first tools that i use um to figure out you know value on uh current collection that I, maybe my own personal collection or value on uh books that i want to sell what i should where i should price them at so one of the next tools that i've used is spot on grading system so this is basically um a mobile app and uh, I'm actually going to go into the mobile app, but I wanted to kind of show you their web page um, first. But you can go in and basically answer about 10 different questions. Now, the key is you have to answer them honestly, um, and you can get a sense for the grade of your raw book. So before you send it in, um, if you want to get a, um, you know, kind of sense for um, what your grade is, um, you can do that by, you know, walking it through this app. So I'm going to actually take you uh, into my uh, mobile app because I have this app um, on my um, phone and we can see, you know, what some of the questions are. So, um, so I had uh, previously done um, a Spider-Man uh, 529 just to get a sense for, um, you know, what, um, you know, what the, what the grading would be. But 
like I said, the key to this now is you look, you know, are there, any, you know, you have to answer these questions. Are there any, uh, uh, you know, printing defects or tears? You know, so I went through and answered all of these questions and that's how I came up with the 9.0 or the 9.6. Um, so unless I, you know, if I don't answer these correctly, um, you're going to, you know, obviously see a different answer than you would expect, you know, at say a CGC, um, you know, if they were grading it. So um, you really need to answer all of these questions um, honestly and as, you know, as best as possible to really get a good um, a good sense for your grade. So take you through, you can see all the different questions. Um, so total of, uh, well, maybe it's 15. No, 20 questions. No, <laughs> 20, 28 questions. And then you can get the sense for your grading. So um, take a look at this tool. You know, like I said, if you want to get a sense for your um, grade on a comic before you send it in for an actual and spend money on actually getting it graded, that might be a good tool to help you out. Now, the next is um, Key Collector. Uh, Key Collector. Um, so this, again, is um, a mobile app, but I wanted to show you their website. So this app has a, a lot of different features. You know, you can... Um, um, you know, look up values of books, but they, they provide like a hot list, a trending list, um, a number of, you know, hot keys, you know, dollar bin. Um, it's, it's really an app that's f full of um, a ton of information. And I've seen where uh, one of my comics that I've had on sale on eBay show up in, you know, one of the, their hot list. And within minutes, you know, I've gotten a notification on my phone. I've looked at the app and then within minutes, the book, you know, has sold, uh, an auction has sold, you know, in, on eBay. So it is definitely a tool that people are looking at. And so let me, um, let me take you um, to the um, app and we can take a look at um, that as well. So here are, it's loading up. Now here are all the different features. I just scroll through, scroll down so you can actually see all of the different categories that they have. So you can see they break it down even by show, you know, because obviously we've seen, you know, books get hot based on, you know, deals, whether it's in the movies or on the on TV, you know, TV shows. Um, so here's the alert feature that I was talking about. And they give you, you know, the the, the trending, the, t the top 20, uh, you know, weekly picks, um, the spec list, um, a lot of different information. So this is really another, um, you know, great app that you can check out, have it on your phone, in your pocket when you're out, you know, at a, at a show, at a, at a local LCS or wherever you are, and kind of have that information at your fingertips. Um, the next one uh, I'd like to mention is Go Collect. Um, now, Go Collect is one of the first tools that I found when I started to uh, price out some of my books uh, for selling on eBay or just to get a sense for, you know, what kind of value I had in my own personal collection. Um, so this is really, what, you know, web-based. Um, and again, you can look up um, any, you know, comic. Um, it's, it's a very extensive database. So I'm going to look up Spider-Man uh, 300. So it lists, you know, Spider-Man 300, the original, you know, a second print, you know, any other, you know, Spider-Man 300 titles that fall in, if there were variant, you know, here's the new stand edition. Um, but let's take a look at the um, the one top, top of the list. And you can see it also lists fair market value. Um, it lists all recent sales. So a 9.8 recently sold um, for $7,750. Um, and then you can see the big drop off between a 9.8 and 9.6, 9.6 at, at you know 2,400. But at, you know as we showed earlier in the in the earlier example, we were seeing even raw books sell for um, you know a, a good amount of money on eBay. So this is just another tool. You know you can um, you can create a comic list or list of hot books or books that you're watching on here. Um, you know, um, I'm sure if you know about Go Collect, you know about Reggie Collects. 
Um, he does, uh, you know, some, some weekly uh, videos for Go Collect. Um, but it's, it's just really a great overall database that I use, um, you know, for looking up comics or uh, looking up values um, or just generally getting some information. Um, they do have like a top, you know, see what's selling, silver, bronze, modern, new. So they have different categories um, to get a sense for, you know, books, uh, hot books, books that are selling or books, you know, they hear, uh, uh, you know. Eternals, obviously, with the movie coming out, trailer just dropped a few weeks ago. Um, you know, the spot, the Wolverine kind of has uh, heated number one from uh, this was the limited series heated up. Um, you know, recently, so it really kind of gives you a good sense for you know uh, what books are uh, you know trending or hot right now. Um, one of the next things I want to show you is um, uh, short boxed. Now this is again another mobile app, and I'll I'll take you to the app um, on my phone and show you that as well. Um, so, but what Shortbox is, and I found out about them recently, is um, it's it's basically an online you know uh, sale uh, you know selling uh, platform, um, but they only sell uh, slabs, so graded copies, um, and you can basically go on and you know browse the listings um, and then. Um, you know, bid on them and make or make an offer. Um, they have a flat fee for sellers of 10%. Um, so it is, um, uh, you know, a little bit um, less expensive than an eBay. eBay charges, I think, a little bit more than that. I think it's like 12%. Um, so here, let's take a look at the app um, on my phone. So you can see just loading up. And so they have some recent highlights. Um, you can do a search on books, um, you know, kind of just list the price right there, right up, you know, and you can, so let's, um, let's do a, a quick search. We've been sticking with Spider-Man uh, 300. So let's go ahead and do a search on that. And so, yeah, there are a number of, um, you know, graded copies. Uh, looks like 9.6 is the highest grade that I see. So let's take a nine. Let's take a look at the nine six. So you can see this. Uh, this is a nine four. Um, so this was listed for sixteen hundred. You can buy it now or make a, make an offer. It gives you a little bit of a description of um, you know the the book and the, and the notes. Um, so this has white pages. Um, you know, first Todd, uh, Todd McFarlane cover and art, uh, origin and first appearance of Venom. Uh, you know, thing uh, appearance, uh, latest black costume. So, again, it's a it's a um, great uh, marketplace. Very easy to use. Very easy to navigate. You can see the searches. Um, you can sell as well. So um, they have a blog. You can you know access it here or even on the web page. So um, another great uh, mobile app uh, selling platform that you can use. Um, next up is uh, Comics Price uh, Price Guide. So again, this is another online um, you know, database of um, comic prices. So let's stick with our Spider-Man 300 and see what we come up with. Huh, why did that? Oh, I see, I entered it wrong. So let's do it this way. So here we go. Um, so here's Amazing Spider-Man 300. Um, and so you can, you know, with um, comic book um, or a comic price guide, you can create, you know, list, uh, want list, uh, you know, add it to your active collection. Um, a lot of the sites that I've mentioned here tonight, there are, you know, there there is a free version, but then there's also a, you know, pay version. And then obviously with the pay or subscription version, you get, you get access to a lot more features. Um, so you can see this is here's the price guide. Um, not sure why that ad popped up, <laughs> but um, so again, gives you the breakdown of the um, the comic. Here's you know the the, the original cover price was a dollar fifty. You know when it was published, so the first appearance. Um, you can see a value tab. Um, so I actually, so I'm not signed in right now, so I can't see that. You can see all the different variants here. And then, like I said, if you if you were entering this in, you can you know whether you have this in your collection or not. So this is a, you know another great tool to be able to um, 
you know, look up, um, you know, information on your books. So, um, and next we're going to go to uh, League of Comic Geeks. So I saw, um, I think I saw another YouTube channel using this. I think it, it might have been uh, Stanables. Um, and so this is just a great tool to be able to look at. And I like this feature, the, the new comics. I'm able to look at all of the upcoming, you know, comic books. And I like the way they have it laid out here um, with the, um, you know, the cover image for each of the books. It just makes it very easy to kind of scroll, scroll to, through. So let's look at uh, the upcoming week, um, you know, next Wednesday. Um, so I can see, all right, the Amazing Spider-Man number 68. So I collect, uh, you know, Amazing Spider-Man. So there it is. I know, you know, it's going to be in my, my pull box and, and you know, um, you know, I know, I know I'll have the copy. So, um, and you can scroll through and see, um, some of the other, you know, titles that are, um, you know, I know Geiger was, is a, is a hot, uh, book right now. Um, Strange Academy. Um, so it just, this, I really like the way this, um, uh, website is laid out, just the visual representation of all the titles. Um, so this also has, you know, the ability to do some other things you can, um, you know, add a list of the comics that are in your personal collection. Um, and there are a number of other features. So I would definitely check out League of Comic Geeks, um, you know, if you're looking for some type of tool to, cater you know, categorize or catalog your, um, you know, your personal collection. Um, so up next is um, uh, uh, Collectors, um, or this is, uh, why am I drawing a blank on the... Um, on uh, C CLZ, I think this is called, right? So this is another app um, that you can add uh, on your phone to help um, cate um, categorize or catalog your comic books. So, um, and you can see, right? It's not only um, books, it could be, um, you know, not only comics here, you can do music, you can do movies, you can do books, um, you can do games. So, um, and it's basically just a, a way to be able to create um, a database for your, um, for your comics. So here it is. Uh, this is what I was trying to blank on the CLZ, uh, comics, uh, mobile app. Um, and so you can see, right, there's a fee for it. This is, you know, 14, uh, 95 per year. And it kind of unlocks, you know, all of the features. Um, and they, they have different versions. They have, you know, um, comic connect or comic collector for, um, you know, windows and, and Mac, um, so you can actually access it on your PC if you, uh, I, you know, I find I love having apps on my phone when I'm out and about. I can, you know, quickly look up a value, see if I'm getting a good deal on a comic before I purchase. Um, but I also like to have it on the computer so that when I'm home, if I'm sitting at my desktop, I can, um, you know, uh, look up that information to maybe transfer it to a, you know, a, a tracking sheet, a spreadsheet or something else that I may, I may have. So again, this is another great way to, um, put your books in a, in a catalog or, you know, keep track of it. Um, next up is, um, comic base. So comic base is another, um, database to be able to, um, put your, um, all of your, you know, comics in and keep track of them. Um, and I've, I, I actually think they have a, a tool that you can use. So if you, if you're building a website for sale, um, you can actually build your database through this app and then display it uh, on your on your website. Um, and you can see um, some different, you know, different versions um, cost, you know, here. So, um, you know, depending on what your needs are, um, you can, um, you know, pick a version that would work best for you. But again, another great database uh, tool for, you know, cataloging your, your collection, whether it's personal or, um, you know, books that you're selling. Um, so definitely check that out. Um, up next, and this is a, a very popular one, uh, cover price, uh, you know, number of the U bigger YouTube channels use it, you, you know, the cover, cover price weekly or, um, looking back, um, I think very Gary does a, you know, let's look at cover price price from last year compared to this year. Um, and cover price has a number of, um, tools as well. Um, so here's their sign up. So again, there's a fee associated with cover price. I believe there's a free version as well. 
Um, but you can take a look, right? There's a bunch of things you can do. You know, uh, rare comics, hot comics, key comics. Um, you can see at what comic books um, are coming out um, each week. Again, you know, I like this, the way they represent the visual representation with the covers. Um, you know, a good, a good way to get a, a you know, a quick glance at all of the comics. You know, they also have some, you know, you know, weekly, you know, kind of hot list, spec list, you know, top sellers. Um, so, uh, so they do have a, a, you know, a free trial that you can jump in and then, you know, you can basically walk through and see all of the different, you know, features and, um, here's the cost. Um, you can also, you know, add your collection, um, you know, to the, to the cover price, you know, database under your profile. Um, so cover price is, is definitely a, um, if you look at some of the sales tools and let's see if we can do that. Um, I thought there was a way, I think I actually have to log in, but again, you know, if we, we were to search Spider-Man, you know, 300 it would give us, you know, uh, and they, and they actually basically, um, provide data for both slab copies and raw copies to really give you a sense for, you know, what the difference is between, um, you know, slab and raw and, uh, you know, recent trends, recent sales, it gives you that kind of overall, um, information. So definitely, uh, um, uh, a great tool to check out. Um, and then we have comic link. So comic link is, um, another online auction, um, marketplace for both, uh, slab and raw books. Um, and it's just, it has a ton of great books. I mean, let's do, let's do the stick with the Spider-Man 300, but we'll do a quick search on Spider-Man 300. And you can see, so there's, um, here's some upcoming, um, auctions for, and this is a nine, eight, um, nine, eight copy. Um, so this auction goes live in early June. Uh, you can see another nine, eight. There's a nine six, nine six. So, just another great uh, marketplace um, to uh, you know see um, and and pick up you know some great uh, great books. Um, and so you can see there's a number of Spider-Man um, 300s that are uh, up for sale in the coming weeks. Um, and then too, if you create an account, you can see. Um, you can see uh, previous sales um, of these books. So if there's an auction that recently closed, you can see, you know, obviously all the details about the book and what it sold for. So again, another tool, if you're, if you know, kind of trying to spec and see where the market is for a particular book, like say Spider-Man 300, um, this is another good tool that you can, um, you know, kind of get a sense for what they're actually selling for in, in you know, out there in the marketplace. Now, last but not least is, um, GP analysis. So um, this is um, a great, great, great tool. Um, if you're looking at, you know, values of books and want to see their trend over time. So just take a look at this. This is, you know, this was a search that um, already came up. Well, let's do, I think we can, yep, we can actually run a search. So I don't think I'm able to input a book. Um, so let's look at an amazing Spider-Man. And issue 129. Okay. So let's go for that. And then what you can see is this shows you the sales data. So a 9 8 of Spider Man 129 in average in, two, in 2019 was a little bit over 13,000. You can see it dipped in uh, 2020 average, was down to about $11,600. And then, but the 12 month month average is, is way up. And now you can see the 90 day average is over at, uh, over $26,000. So, um, and that may be an outlier cause they're saying there's a, the last sale in May was around $20,000. Um, so, but this just basically gives you a great, um, feel for, you know, what books are selling at what prices, current prices, but then also, you know, where have they been? Has it been a roller coaster for them? Or are they, you know, are they peaking? Or are they declining? So as you can see, it, it gives you all of the different grades and it gives you the different, um, you know, signature labels, whether it's signature or not. Um, so we'll go down to some of the lower grades for this book. <clears throat> so you can see even at a, you know, um, 
uh, you know, a 5.0, a, a 0.5, um, you know, what it's selling for, you know, a couple hundred dollars, a couple hundred dollars. So, um, and here is um, some, you know, different books. Uh, it's Amazing Spider-Man from 1994. Um, oh, here's some of the international versions of the book. Um, here's the reprint. So the, the data that they, they supply is, is really, um, you know, endless here. I mean, it's basically everything you want. Um, again, this is another subscription service type of a site, but, you know, depending on, um, you know, uh, if you're into speculation or into flipping, you know, books, this could be, um, a great, um, tool to use. So you can see there's a, you know, a monthly fee of uh, almost $11 or, um, you know, annually you get a little bit, if you pay annually, you get a little bit of a break. So, um, again, just another really solid tool to, um, you know, do some, you know, comic book speculation, um, you know, re um, you know, homework, re uh, uh, research on. So, um, so that's it really check out any one of these, you know, tools that I've mentioned or, you know, apps or programs, um, you know, um, I, I, you know, I think any one of them are good. I use kind of a combination. I'm using, you know, the eBay sales um, to really get a sense for the books that I'm selling, the raw books that I'm selling. Um, but there are plenty of, you know, like I said, it just went th um, through. So, um, but I, I'd really like to hear what you're using. Are, are there, is there something else out there that, that I'm not thinking about or is not on my radar that you're using? Um, you know, these are some that I found recently and some that I've been using for, you know, a year or two, but uh, I'm always interested in hearing, you know, what other people are using. So, you know, drop it in the comments. Tell me what you think about the, um, you know, some of the um, apps and, and software that I highlighted today. But what else are you using? Let me know. I'd really like to hear it. I'd like to check, you know, some, some other things out. Always looking for some good, um, you know, resource um or homework or research tools to be able to uh, improve my knowledge on, uh, you know, comic prices. Um, so, um, yeah, I hope you guys, um, you know, enjoyed this video. Um, please, you know, uh, hit that like button, drop me a comment. I uh, hope you consider subscribing if you're already, if you're not a subscriber. Um, so um, thanks. Thanks for, you know, stopping by and, and sticking with me. Uh,